Good morning and welcome to today's Morning Report. Charles Price is on Monday the 5th of June with me, Richard Pro Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Trading is uh, relatively subdued a little bit today. We've had this terrorist attack uh, in London over the weekend. We've also got um, public holiday in Germany, uh, which means that uh, the DAX isn't open. Um, and uh, just generally speaking, sort of moving into the final week of uh, trading in front of the UK election, perhaps you could start to see a little bit of consolidation coming through. But uh, just for now, the, the, um, this terrorist attack is having a mild impact, uh, nothing too significant, um, slightly lower on FTSE 100. Interesting that the, uh, the sterling has actually, initially, initially was slightly lower, but has actually rallied quite um, quite well today. Uh, perhaps that comes with the back of... Um, the improved prospects of the Conservative Party um, on the back of this terrorist attack, potentially, I suppose. That could be the argument behind a rally for Sterling today. Um, yeah, the election, which will be held on Thursday, the Tories have seemed to be more uh, more str or stronger in the, uh, in the security segment than Labour. Um, but uh, generally speaking, we've got a little bit of interesting sort of move coming on the back of the uh, UK services PMI again that services PMI just dropped away uh, 53.8 down from an expectation of 55 spot zero and down 55 spot eight last time uh, last month um, so generally speaking that is not really impacting uh, markets are focusing more on the election I think today um, but uh, we had the uh, composite eurozone PMI which basically came in line as it uh, did in the flash reading of 56 spot 8 looking further towards the afternoon we've got non-manufacturing ISM data 57 spot 0 and um, that comes into focus obviously because we've had some data points out of the states recently that have certainly underwhelmed and uh, non from perils on Friday was one of those um, underwhelming data and um, so uh, yeah I think it's uh, generally speaking it kind of form a little bit of activity on the dollar today but uh, it's uh, it's a little bit subdued at the moment nothing too significant moving today but uh, my chart of the day is the FTSE 100 um, and FTSE has been in this uptrend in the past sort of six weeks or so but is it starting to roll over you've now sort of breaking that uptrend you've had a couple of candles last week which had long upper shadows and close towards the low of the day that suggests that the bear uh, that the uh, sellers have sort of not allowed the bulls to take control um, as, uh, as the session goes on and you look at these momentum indicators are those MACD lines about to cross lower? Stochastics have already sort of showed signs of possibly losing momentum RSI similar if you see the RSI below 60 perhaps that is the signal um, as I said you've broken that uptrend um, you had a mid support mid, mid last week support around 50 uh, sorry 75 20 area that uh, I suppose is, is being tested as we speak pretty much and then you've got last week's low of 74.97 if you broke below that then that arguably completes a little bit of a top pattern very small one um, and uh, that would sort of open up this corrective move potentially near term this hourly chart certainly sort of doesn't suggest this momentum is all that strong anymore near term and uh, looking at the stochastics, two week low there pretty much, RSI same sort of thing and also the MACD line. So this um, this little sort of slip that we saw in the wake of the payrolls on Friday has certainly sort of been added to today by this uh, terrorist attack over the weekend and uh, we could see that turn into a bit of a corrective move but generally speaking in front of the election I'm expecting more of a um, sort of a, a consolidation um, would be likely but um, the fact is that uh, the outcome of the election is, is pretty uncertain, I see, um, especially considering um, this uh, terrorist attack on, on Saturday that sort of adds to that uncertainty. So we could see markets consolidating a little bit um, as the week goes on. But uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.